Hi, I'm Nicole Goche, Extension Plant Pathologist at the University of Kentucky. And um, today we are looking at um, uh, industrial hemp as we are approaching harvest and getting ready to put it into storage. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, post-harvest storage in terms of disease management and disease um, in storage. So um, this is uh, hemp that is just about ready for harvest. In fact, uh, we've already started harvesting. And um, as you can see, there's a lot of blight going on here. Blight means quick death. So the necrosis, the browning, um, that's the, we use the word blight to describe what's happening here in these symptoms. And if you kind of zoom in, you'll see some really dark spots where you have severe blighting in sections of this head and other times we'll see entire heads browning. And here in particular, this is fusarium head blight or bud blight in this case, because there are no seeds, we call it head blight if it's grain hemp. But the blighting here caused by Fusarium graminearum or other Fusarium species is really detrimental to hemp when it goes into storage. So um, here we do have some budworms. We also have uh, Fusarium head blight only with no budworms. But either way, we're always going to find the Fusarium fungi inside these heads. So it's very important that as you start to harvest that you examine inside these buds look for disease, look for these fungal bodies called mycelia, and to uh, assure not to put this fusarium into storage because once we get into a storage facility and when the humidity is high and you will bring humidity into your barn, the fungus will proliferate and it will become more and more severe. So examination at the field level is step one for managing post-harvest diseases in hemp. And after that, once you get into the barn, it's really critical that air circulation is good. Humidity is below 70%. So anything above 70% is, um, is uh, conducive for fungal uh, spread. So humidity below 70%, keeping it fairly cool and um, in particular to not bring disease plant material into the barn in the first place. So that will assure that your post-harvest product is going to be clean and safe for the end users. Here's an example of a blighted bud. So we see sections of this bud that are brown and, um, and throughout this bud we see browning, so all around. Uh, there are, again, some uh, budworms here, but this is primarily fusarium. Also remember that fusarium uh, goes in and moves into damaged buds that uh, have been damaged by budworms. So we're seeing both cases. So this is a prime example of this browning and this blighting. And as you open up this bud, you'll see this fungal mycelia inside at that stem inside that, especially the very dense buds. Here is another bud, an example of this blighting. Again, blighting is, it means quick death, where the brown or dark colored tissue remains intact. So all of the browning of the sugar leaves, of the bracts, and even getting into the peduncle towards the stem is an indicator of fusarium head blight. And confirmation of that can be done through the plant disease diagnostic lab. So as you enter into harvest season, um, like I said, be sure that disease temp is not going into storage because the, um, the fungal contamination can get worse, contaminate the final product. So to be able to select through materials before they go into storage will help assure that there's a better product at the end. And for any questions, contact your uh, local county agent and uh, check out some of our social media and our websites for detailed information.